you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head, and you can feel the world fading. As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head, and you can feel the world fading. As the world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach out, but you could feel yourself falling slowly. Sink as the world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach out, but you could feel yourself falling slowly, sinking into the depths of your own soul. Suck the smoke deep into your lungs. Your vi as the world fades away, you look. Hmm. The destination pyramid doesn't answer the...
Bathed in the half-light of these starless barrens, you spot a figure you could only describe as a second self. Bathed in the half-light of these starless barrens, you spot a figure you could only describe as a second self. It looks haggard and weak, its very voice but a feeble echo of your own. My chosen, come, come closer, so that you may see me as I truly am. The apparition clasps your face in its shaking hands. You suddenly feel your eyes tingle. Everything becomes brighter, sharper. Blacks and whites become glorious bursts of color, then fade back into their accustomed spectrum. Blind eyes shine brightly. Speak the spell and see. It looks haggard and weak. My chosen, look me. The apparition clasps your blind eyes. Speak this spell and see. Gone is the strange mirror image of yourself. Before you stands the god Tis and Elias in all his spectral glory. mirror image of yourself. Before you stands the god Tis and Elias in all his spectral glory. You know me, don't you? I saved you from drowning. I blessed you, made you powerful, and now I've come to seek some power in return. Your godwoken soul is my last refuge. My last bastion. May as well make the best of what you have to offer. Tis and Elias nourishes himself from the source that abounds in your presence. You feel it deep down inside yourself. Ah, yes. Just what I needed. I tell you, dying just doesn't become a god. The void itself is hunting down the gods, leeching us in ways we never thought possible. Droplet by droplet, we are being drained. We're battling for our very survival. It's a battle we're losing, and should we truly lose, all will be cast into oblivion. To save us both, as a matter of fact. You must realize that our fates are now as one, just as our souls are now as one. We are I. Together, we are a force to be reckoned with. But if we seek to survive the onslaught of the Void, we stand no chance unless we become vastly more powerful than we are now. You know me, don't you? I s Your godwoken soul is my last- Tis and Elias nourishes himself from the source that abounds in your presence. You feel it deep down inside yourself. Ah, yes. Just what I needed. I tell you, dying, the void itself is hunt- We're battling for our very survival. It's a battle to save us both, as a matter of fact. You must realize that our fates are now as one, just as our souls are now as one. We are I. Together, we are a force to be reckoned with. But if we seek to survive the onslaught of the void, we stand no chance unless we become vastly more powerful than we are now. That means there is but one place we can go. The Well of Ascension. It 
most certainly will be. The Well of Ascension is a lake, a pool of pure source in which the powers of the Seven lie united. We gave them up freely to create the first divine. Each of us donated half of that which makes us gods. To bathe in the lake is to become our chosen. That is where the road to divinity leads, and you must be the first to reach it at all costs. That means there is but one place we can go, the Well of Ascension. It most certainly will be. We gave them up freely to... That is where the road to divinity leads, and you must be the first to reach it at all costs. It was a time of selflessness and sacrifice in the face of our old enemy. It was an act of heroism and a dreadful mistake to boot, which we must rectify. The Void is stronger than ever. A new Divine won't be enough. You need to go to the Well of Ascension, not to bathe in the Source of the Seven, but to take it. All of it. Only he who claims everything will be everything. The Void's doom, this world's liberator. Whatever for, the other gods will either bow to you or be undone. But of course that is what they are saying to their own god Woken as we speak. We both know they won't bow, just like we both know you will never bow to them. Only one can become a god strong enough to safeguard our world. One, at the expense of all others. So make no mistake, my champion. Chances are, the road to divinity will be paved with dead gods. Their blood on your murderer's hands. But don't let that dismay you, for these sins will be washed clean by the knowledge you committed them to save all of existence. To save your kin, and your loved ones, and the world they live in. They will be at your mercy, which is vastly preferable to you being at theirs. Wouldn't you agree? So fret not, but revel in the promise of the lake. I will lead you there when you are ready, when you've become a true master of the source and speak the language of creation itself. Our journey will be fraught with peril. It is a pilgrimage of challenges that will require you to command source like only a godwoken can and wield its most powerful spells. Coarse laughter rolls and echoes into infinity. It was a time of selflessness and s the void is stronger than only he who claims everything will be whatever for. Yeah, but of course that is what only one can be. So make no mistake, my ch but don't let that dismay you. For these sins will be washed clean by the knowledge you committed them to save all of existence. To save your kin, and your loved ones, and the world they live in. You flatter me, my chosen. But if all I had to do was give, you would long since have received. We are I now. The spells you need to know I will teach you when you are ready. But first... You must learn to channel the Source in greater volumes. That is why you need to seek Masters of the Source. You must make them teach you, so that you may become a Master in turn. They will be at your mercy, so fret not. Our journey will be fraught with peril. It is a pure Coarse laughter rolls and echoes into infinity. You flatter me, my Chosen. We are I now. The spells you need to know I will teach you when you are ready. So return to Rivalon and seek out these sages where they dwell. Convince them to share with you their deep-seated bond with the Source. Once you have, you may return to me here. 
and so much more. But I'm no longer who I once was, bound to you as I've become. I will teach you what I can, but the knowledge that will expand the bounds of your soul, that you'll have to hunt for yourself. Something that will make you understand that for a god, there is precious little difference between the living and the dead. Source is. It is a constant, a subject of neither time nor transience. All of life is source, and in source it is, immortally so. You have the vision of a god now. Eyes that can see spirits, the souls of the dead made manifest in source. Speak the spell during your peregrinations and you will see them. Where the dead lie, the dead linger. So return to Rivalon and seek once you have. You may return to me something that will make you understand. Source it. You have the vision. Speak the spell during your peregrinate and so much more. Best of luck, my champion. Best of luck. My champion. The Meister stares intently at you. Her eyes are tired and bruised, but determined. The spirit of an elegant elven woman materializes before you. She seems surprised. You... you can see me. A god woken in my presence. You honor me. The spirit looks at you regretfully. It is hard to hear of such power and not covet it for yourself. I lie to myself and convince myself that I am special, but I am not special. I am dead. Still alive? Gods above, there might be something to you after all. She leans in, her bloody tongue flickering hungrily about your face. Tell me, what did you see? What you know? She sighs impatiently as you hack up the last of the green smoke. You can't channel enough source. Gods be damned, why couldn't you have a nice simple problem? Finding an orc to dance the hornpipe, perhaps? If I were looking for a master of mirth, you would be ideal. Alas, there are no masters of source here. The river of my source has been dammed. My link to the font from which it flows, severed. So we must seek alternatives. Alas, the only source masters not yet hauled off to Fort Joy or turn into meat puppets are those too dangerous or cunning for the Magisters to contain. Sorcerers that allowed their power to corrupt them. Many are wicked, cruel, vile, and generally not good teacher material, but we may have no others to turn to. You will not be there long, I assure you. There is only so much you can glean from a twisted mind. However, it is the path we walk, no... <coughs> no matter what the cost. No matter what is asked of you. 
The Meister doubles over in a violent coughing fit, struggling for breath. After a few moments, she regains her composure, wiping a thin smear of blood from the corner of her mouth. No matter what is asked of you, you must learn from them. And you do not seem to be paying attention. Sorcerers, evil, controlling your source, saving Rivalon, please. <laughs> please tell me at least some of this rings a bell. Your focus, your only focus, must be on finding these masters, on finding the secrets to divinity. Nothing else matters. Alas, I am. And we do not have time to nitpick morals. The Magisters have kept ledgers with all known sorcerers, especially the powerful ones not yet captured. They would be an invaluable resource. But do be careful not to get caught. I was their <coughs> guest for a time. And I promise you the gallows was the most comfortable part of the experience. And if their barracks turns out to be as empty as their skulls, just try to keep an ear to the ground. There may still be powerful sorcerers hiding in these lands. As she speaks, one of her wounds reopens, a dark red stain spreading across her tunic. She hisses in frustration and starts to bind the gash. I wish there was more I could do, but in this condition, I would be more a hindrance than a boon. Godspeed, and remember, do whatever it takes. Stay strong on your holy mission, Godwoken. The Meister stares intently at you. Her eyes are tired and bruised, but determined. Still alive? God's... She leans in. Tell me, what did you see? She sighs impatiently. You can't channel enough source. Gods be damned. <sighs> if I were looking for a, the river of my source, so we must seek alternatives. Sorcerers that allowed their power to corrupt them. Many are wicked. You will not be there long, I assure However, it is the path we walk. The Meister doubles over in a... No matter what is asked of you, you must learn from... And you do not seem to be paying it. Sorcerers, Eve, your focus, your only focus, must be on finding these masters. On finding the secrets to divinity. Alas, I am. And we do. The Magisters have kept ledgers with all known sorcerers, especially the powerful ones not yet captured. They would be in them, but do be careful not to get caught. And if their barracks turns out to be. As she speaks, one of her. I wish there was more I could do, but in this condition, I would be more.